What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing everyone's favorite Route 1 bird. We got ourselves Star Raptor. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and staying up to date with my content. Also, I'm streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. Name is in the bottom right hand corner, Jeans25 on Twitch, and link is down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. Pop into the chat if I'm live. Say hi, say what's up. I would love to talk to you guys over there. But yeah, we're using Star Raptor today, and I'm super surprised that I haven't showcased this Pokemon in BDSP yet. I was looking at the list of Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet and star raptor was on that i was just like no way it's like no shot we haven't showcased star raptor so i got right on top of that and i built a star raptor squad for you guys but let's get started here with today's scene preview starting off with the one and only star raptor we gave the choice scarf as item then it is rocking one of the best abilities in the game which is intimidate so every time it hops in the battle it's going to drop our opposing pokemon's physical attack stat so it's really really good especially with the choice scarf because we have a move like u-turn just pivot out and constantly get some intimidate pressure Eevee's first Pokemon is fairly simple. We fully max it out on attack and we fully max it out on speed. Move set for this guy is going to be close combat for stab. We got Brave Bird for stab. We have U turn to pivot out and then our lonesome coverage move is going to be double edge. So we got three hard hitting moves and then we got one pivot move with U turn. So, like I said, having Intimidate on this very fast bird with U turn is really, really good just to pivot out. And then whenever we want to do some big damage, we can use one of our heavy hitting moves. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Breedloom over here. And Breedloom is just so much fun to use, especially this Breedloom right here. We got Spore, obviously, to put Pokemon to sleep. We got Drain Punch. We got Seed Bomb both for Stab. And then we got Substitute. The ability for this Pokemon is going to be Poison Heal. And then, obviously, it has a Toxic Orb to actually poison itself to get that Poison Heal rolling. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be Raichu over here. And Raichu is just really solid all around. It has great fake out pressure when it's uh, in its first turn. It has Nuzzle for speed control. And I just think it works really well on this team, especially with Lightning Rod as its ability. Like I already mentioned, Lightning Rod's ability. And then it's got fake out, Nuzzle, Full Switch, and Brick Break to actually break screen. So again, I really like this Pokemon. He gets a lot of value, especially with having Gyarados and Star Raptor on the team. And even Tokus. So three Pokemon that are weak to electric. Lightning Rod could definitely come in handy for us. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Heatran over here, and Heatran was just like a perfect filler. I was looking for one more Pokemon to put on this team, and Heatran fit the fit the spot really well because it's got Fire, it's got Steel, two very strong typings, and then it has Taunt to actually taunt some opposing Pokemon, such as like a Trick Room team. We can kind of counter up with that, so Heatran gets a lot of value with this team. It has Flash Cannon, it's got Heat Wave, it's got Taunt, and then it's got Protect. The ability is going to be Flash Fire, and then the item it is holding is that Shuka Berry, so, so it can actually eat up at least one ground move. Fifth Pokemon on squad is going to be Togekiss over here. Scope Lens, Super Luck, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then its moveset is the same thing. Air Slash, Follow Me, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Gyarados over here. Maybe I might switch out this Gyarados. I might have to switch out this Gyarados. Because I do have another Gyarados, which is the same stats, same everything. But instead of Crunch, it has Ice Fang. So if you guys see me switching it out, in uh, if I have a different Gyarados in battle... Then I switched out because I think I'm going to do it. But everything's pretty straightforward. It's got Waterfall, Crunch, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Intimidate, obviously, as its ability. And then it is rocking the Life Orb. But guys, there it is. There's our Star Raptor squad. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins with it. First battle coming at you guys, and I ended up switching out that Gyarados. Brought in the one with Ice Fang. I just feel like we get a lot more value out of it, and we really don't need that dark typing move. The only time I ever used the Gyarados with Crunch on it instead of Ice Fang is when we have a Pokemon with Ice Moves already on the team. And in this instance, we have nobody with an Ice Move, so Ice Fang Gyarados coming in hot here. But we're going up against a pretty cool team right here. He has Slowbro, he has Aerodactyl, Scizor, Titar, two very strong Pokemon. And he's rocking one legendary Pokemon with uh, Azelf, and then he has Claydoly, which could be a Storm Drain Claydoly, right? Doesn't learn Storm Dream? I believe it does. But I'm going to end up leading Star Raptor. He has a few physical attackers on the field. Star Raptor can get a lot of value out of that. And then I could also lead Raichu and just start getting some speed control with some nuzzles, with some fake outs, all that good stuff. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. Star Raptor, Raichu, bring Gyarados in the back end because I love Gyarados. And then last but not least, do we rock out with Heatran or do we rock out with Breloom? Two very good Pokemon. We get a lot of value out of it. And I'm kind of leaning towards Breloom. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Breloom has super effective shots onto T-Tar. It's super effective onto the Slowbro. It has the Spore. It, you just get a lot of value out of them. And especially if we can set up Sub, we can kind of roll out strong from there. Or, again, I could bring in Heatran for that Scissor. Scissor could be a pain. Scissor could be a pain. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. Kind of leaning towards that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go Heatran instead. 
Let's go Heatran instead. We'll get Breloom out here in battle number two. But, yo, I'm having a great day today. Yo, BDSP is always fun to record. And more importantly, I have two monitors. So I'm playing BDSP here. I have my recording setup over here. And then behind my recording setups, when I'm waiting for matches, I got the Pokemon World Champions going on. So definitely watching that some crazy good battles been going on the finals are about to start rather soon i believe it's the final start soon but i just watched a crazy crazy matchup against a uh what was it an ice rider calyrex chicken team versus like a zassy shadow rider calyrex speed team so it was really cool it was really cool but he's gonna end up going as elf into uh what's it called as elf and aerodactyl i'm gonna just u-turn out here and i'm just gonna fake out the uh aerodactyl i'm gonna fake out this little aerodactyl which is solid which is solid. So U-turn's going to poke out here. As off, I'm kind of scared of. I don't really know what it's going to do. I don't know if it's going to set up. I don't know if it's just going to do big damage. But I'm just going to U-turn out of here. Get off as much damage as I can. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. And then fake out the Aerodactyl slot. But yeah, the BDSP is always so fun. Because I'm always trying out new Pokemon. You guys are always seeing some very cool Pokemon that you can never see in Sword and Shield. So I do like it. I do like it. But I cannot wait for Scarlet and Violet. Just to bring you guys a bunch of new Pokemon coming out. And a whole new rank meta. Which is going to be awesome. It is definitely going to be awesome. But what is this guy going to do? Thank God I'm actually faking out this, uh, this Aerodactyl. I might actually... Oh, who's going to protect? Oh, no, not my... Not the Azelf. Not the Azelf. I'm trying to U-turn out. I'm trying to U-turn out. So I'm just going to fake out you. I might nuzzle up onto the Aerodactyl. Or I could Volt Switch out. I wish I could have U-turned this turn. Because this turn. that could have been big. U-turn into, like, Gyarados. Maybe a bit faster, too. But yeah, I'm just going to U-turn again. Got to swap. And then do I Volt Switch or do I nuzzle? I could Volt Switch, get off some big damage. But if I Volt Switch, who should I go into? Maybe like a Pokemon like Heatran? I'm kind of with that. I might just Nuzzle this turn. Do I Nuzzle Azelf too? Hmm. I'm going to Nuzzle Azelf. I'm going to double down into the slot here. The Azelf really poses a bigger threat more so than Aerodactyl. I think Gyarados can outspeed Aerodactyl. I'm pretty much shot it. I'm not too worried about Aerodactyl. I'm just going to start nuzzling Grant and some speed control for the team. Because that's why I brought the Raichu. The Raichu is great for fake outs. Great for nuzzling speed control. He's going to end up with swallowing the ass off. And who are you turning into and nuzzling here? Who are we doubling down into? It's going to be Scissor. And I actually really like this nuzzle. I really like this nuzzle. So you turns going to poke here. We can swap into Gyarados for another Intimidate. Which I'm probably going to do, right? Intimidate and then maybe just uh, Volt Switch into the Star Raptor. And just keep... Or I could go Heatran here. Heatran's definitely a play. We gotta go Heatran. Obviously, Intimidate would be good, but then next turn, I can legit Volt Switch out into Star Raptor. Or even Gyarados and go from there. But yeah, Rockside's gonna fly here. Did a lot of damage to the Raichu, and uh, he's probably just gonna Bull Punch. He yeah, got crit on me. Kinda hurts soul. But I don't mind if Raichu goes down for a Scissor KO. That could be big for us. That could really be big for us. So I'm just gonna Heat Wave across the board. Do that, and then just Volt Switch out if I can. So if he stays in and if he bullet punches my Raichu, that's totally fine because then we, we get to pick up the KO onto the Scissor. But if he doesn't, that's even that's that's fine too. He's gonna withdraw. He withdraw Scissor. I'm cool with that. So he waves fine. He might go back into the Azelf here. He goes into Titar, which I do not mind at all. I do not mind at all. I'm gonna intimidate and I think I'm just gonna bring out my bird. I think I'm just gonna bring out my bird here. Rockside's gonna actually outspeed him. Raichu dodging. That's huge. It's big plays. It's big plays, Raichu. So we dodge that. Hopefully Heatran does not flinch. Volt Switch is going to come out here. Send it. Big time damage. Almost picks up the KO. And Heat Wave should be able to come in here and pick up the KO. So he gets a crit. It kind of counteracts because he... Or I got a crit. But it kind of counteracts because he got a crit earlier in the match. And at this point, I should go into Star Raptor, right? Do I go into Star Raptor? I'm going to go into Star Raptor just for the Intimidate. I don't see him really going into Scissor. We kind of have a lot of value going on here. Yeah, I'm going to go and start Raptor just to pose that threat. I might close combat into that T-Tar slot. I don't really know if I should. Or I might just U-turn into it. But Intimidate's going to be big. It's up against a few physical attackers. Heat Wave's going to connect. We're going to say bye-bye to Aerodactyl. And hopefully... Oh, we don't get rid of Aerodactyl. Give me a burn on somebody. Give me a burn. No burns. Oh, dude, that hurts. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. But that's a solid Intimidate. That is solid Intimidate. And you know what? I'm just going to... uh going to Flash Cannon into the slot. And I'm just going to U-turn into Aerodactyl here just to get KO it. That's fine by me because I can see him protecting that T-Tar all day. I can see him potentially protecting the T-Tar. Yep, he protects the T-Tar. We're not going into a close combat into that slot. That's fine. Star Raptor should go first here. Beautiful U-turn should come out here. We're going to pick up the KO. And then from here, 
Do I just bring back out what's it called? Do I bring back out? Do I bring Gyarados out here? I could bring out Raichu. Raichu would probably be your player. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring out Raichu. Raichu out here. We get another fake out turn. I have two great Intimidates Pokemon. We have Gyarados and we have Star Raptor in the back end up against Scissor and Titar. So we should be fine with this battle. We kind of just outplayed our opponent doing some good swaps. And this is why I kind of built this team this way. We have plenty of ways to swap out. We have plenty of ways to get more value out there. And I totally forgot about the Azul. I honestly forgot about the Azul. I'm going to flash cannon into this thing. And I am just going to fake out onto the, uh, onto the Azul. That's my play. I forgot about the Azul. I forgot about the Azelf. But the Scissor's kind of a pain. I kind of want to like get my Heatran out of here. Just so we can uh, leave for the Scissor. The Heatran is just a great Scissor counter. It resists its bug moves and its steel moves. Which usually is the only kind of moves it rocks. And then on top of that, it's four times super effective with fire. Heatran's going to Flash Cannon. The Sink is holding the Babiri Berry. So Babiri Berry coming in hot here. See how much damage are we still going to do. Not bad damage. We might be able to KO with another Flash Cannon. Might be able to KO with another Flash Cannon. Ooh. Q coming out here. So Raichu's going to dip out. Raichu's going to be dead here. Heatran should be able to soak up pretty well with the Shuka Berry, which it does. And then on top of this, I could bring back out Star Raptor. I don't lean towards... I don't lean towards that Star Raptor. Do I go back into Star Raptor and maybe hard swap the... Uh... I might hard swap the what's it called. I might hard swap the heat turn. I don't know. I could protect the heat turn this turn. But Intimidate's coming in hot here. I need that heat turn though. I kind of want to see what he's going to do with that. Uh, with that, what's it called? I kind of want to see what he's going to do with that. Uh, that T Tar. Because I know T Tar's going to swap rather soon. Good close combat straight in this slot. Close combat can do some work. But again, he might protect here. So I'm just going to U turn out. It's a great battle. This is a great battle. Gotta get my Gyarados out here to get some damage off. Gotta get that Gyarados out here. But yeah, minus two on T-Tar here. He might swap. I think he might protect. Let's see what he wants to do here. Let's see what he wants to do. Hmm. This is such a good battle. This is a great battle, yo. This is why I love BDSP. Sometimes you get these absolute banger of battles where it just comes super close. I don't know what he's gonna do here. Do not know what he's gonna do here. I think he's gonna protect the T-Tar. I think he's definitely scared of that Star Raptor. I was gonna drop it with a what's it called? I was gonna put close combat in that slot, which would have been a solid play. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna protect. I don't think he's protecting. I do not think he's protecting. He might be rock sliding, which could do me dirty. But you turn's gonna come out here. Take out the Azelf. Beautiful. We take out the Azelf with that. That's big time KO. And then I'm going to bring back out Gyarados. And actually, this will be Gyarados' first time. But the best part about this is Gyarados' Intimidate will come out here first. That works really well for us. And now he's forced to bring out... He's forced to bring out... What's it called? He's forced to bring out Scissor. He's forced to bring out Scissor. And at this point, I might just hard swap. He's going to go for E. That's totally fine. Awesome. That's solid for us. So now his T-Tar is kind of in the dumps. It's minus three. He's forced to bring out Scissor here. I might hard swap into Star Raptor here. From my Heatran slot, just so I can get off another Intimidate. Kind of go from there. That might be my best bet. And we have a Paralyze on this thing. That's gorgeous. So, yeah. You know, we're just going to swap the Heatran. We're going to go into Star Raptor here. And I'm just going to Waterfall this thing down. Because Scissor might protect this turn. And then he might just try to go for, like, a Rock Slide or something. But both my Pokemon should be able to soak up Scissor shots really, really well. And I think we're chilling here fine. So, we're going to swap the Heatran. We're going to get off another Intimidate onto these Pokemon. So, now T-Tar is, like, minus four. <laughs> and Scissor is minus one. So yeah, dude, Intimidate is just thriving up against these Pokemon. Thriving. Gyarados should be fast on the field, unless obviously Bullet Punch comes through. And he's not going for a Bullet Punch, but Waterfall flies through. Probably should be able to pick up the KO. It does. T-Tar, get on out of here. Scissors final Pokemon. We have the Heat Train to kind of counter it up. That's pretty much GG. We got this match on Rap. We got this match on Rap. But yo, Star Raptor? This Pokemon is incredible. This Pokemon is incredible with the Choice Scarf and the U-Turn. It's just constant pressure with Intimidates. And then whenever you want to hit, you can. Which I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to drop a Close Combat. What does more damage? They do the same, but this thing doesn't take me recall, but drops my defense. So I'm going to drop that. I'm going to go into a Waterfall. That's pretty much GG. So I think he just canceled the battle, right? Yep, he canceled the battle. And battle number one was a banger. And we end up winning. 
Second battle coming at you guys. That first battle was so perfect. I absolutely love that battle. We were swapping in left and right with full switches and U-turns, intimidating, controlling, and just dominating the battle with Star Raptor. But like I said, we're hopping into our second battle and we're going up against a pretty cool team. He has a Storm Drain Gastrodon team and he also has, what is that, a uh, Dry Skin Toxicroak team. So Rain and Water is going to be his friend. He could be rocking Surf on Pelipper or Surf even on the, uh, I think Armado learns it. I think Armando might learn Surf. Same thing with uh, Gastronom. But he has a lot of different options he can go into. He has the Pelipper, he has Gardevoir, Armado, who recently just showcased, and I love that Pokemon. Then he has Pachirisu, Gastrodon, and Toxicroak. So how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Raichu could be really good here. Maybe just as a lead, we just have to watch out for the Gastron swapping. But I feel like leaving like Bloom and Raichu here could be pretty solid. Could be pretty solid. So you know what? I'm gonna lead both of them. We're gonna get rocking with them. I might actually bring Star Raptor in the back end. It could be a great back end Pokemon. And then maybe our last Pokemon could be Togekiss. Togekiss can get some work done here. I do like Togekiss. Togekiss Gyarados or Togekiss Star Raptor? Hmm. Gyarados is nice, but again, Storm Drain's kind of a pain. So our Raptor's pretty solid here. Has the Brave Bird. Has the close combat. Can do a lot of work. You know, we're gonna go into Star Raptor. We're trying to showcase this Pokemon. So even if we lose, it's all good. It's all good. We locked it in. We locked it down. Let's go back to back here in battle number. But I kind of want to try to set up this uh, sub suit with this Breloom turn one. So if I can fake out, waste out a turn, set up a sub, and get this Breloom rolling, we can be looking pretty good. And he is going to go into these two Pokemon right here, which I don't really mind. He can't go into an electric move with Ratchet on the field. I'm just going to fake out the, uh, the Gardevoir, and I'm going to set up this sub. I'm going to set up this lovely little sub suit. And then I could start faking out, or I could start nuzzling around, but then I had to watch out for, obviously, the, uh, the Patchery suit with the follow me. So I don't think this turn's going to be bad. I really don't, don't think this turn's going to be bad. Gardevoir is definitely a threat, though. I do not like it. Due to it being uh, super effective onto my uh, my Breloom. But I think we should be fine as long as we get this sub set up. So Fake Out's going to come out here. It's going to allow us to set up the sub suit. And your boy is going to get buzzing. Your boy's going to get buzzing, dude. I love BDSP, man. BDSP is so much fun to record. But it's such a pain to kind of like get the teams for you guys. And uh, wait, like... A good half an hour to kind of get a battle. It takes a while to get a battle. But dude, I love I love recording BDSP. I do love it. Especially the I think I I love it because I, I kinda of keep it like so distanced from sword and shield. Like I'll do like three sword and shield videos and then I'll go to BDSP. It's not like I'm doing BDSP every single day. You know? I, so that's why I feel like it's always good to come back to BDSP. Because I'm not like getting tired of it. But fake out's gonna fly through your turn one. Nice damage onto that Gardevoir. We get a critical hit. And I think flinches. I think I think it might be choice. We're gonna set up a substitute. And what are he's gonna do? Is he super fanging me? Please don't take off my substitute. I'm gonna super fang into going to Raichu. Cool. He goes into Raichu. I'm with that all day. He goes into Raichu here. We have the poison heal thriving. Um from here he could follow me. I kinda just wanna volt switch out of here. I do kinda wanna volt switch out of here, which I think is gonna be my play. I'm gonna volt switch and on top of that, I think I'm just gonna drain punch or do I spore? I could definitely spore here. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spore somebody. I'm gonna put somebody to sleep. What's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for a moon blast. The straight up moon blast is going to take off the sub. That's fine. I'm gonna volt switch here. And then on top of that, I am going to put the scarred board to sleep. And then I'm gonna pull out a Pokemon that can kill it. I'm gonna volt switch onto it, chip up some nice damage, and I have to put it to sleep. Like I said, Guard board just poses too much of a threat. So from there, I'm Volt Switching into... Do I have Volt Switching into Togekiss just so I can gleam across the board? Or do I go into Star... I, think, I feel like we have to save for Star Raptor. I'm going to go into Togekiss here. Togewoogie's going to poke out here. At this point. And he might be nuzzling my... I don't know. Actually, I don't think he's going to nuzzle. I don't think he's going to nuzzle knowing that I had Lightning Rod on the field. The support's going to come out here. We're going to grant some HP back. And I have to start getting rid of this Pokemon here. Go for Super Fang take out him. Okay, that's fine. That is fine, because I get Poison Heal, I can chip up some damage. So from here, I am just going to Gleam. I'm just going to Gleam. And I think I just, uh... I think I just Drain Punch, right? Get some HP back. I don't think I set up a sub here. Actually, I could have set up a sub. I probably should have set up a sub there. I probably should have just set up a sub. We have enough Pokemon to sleep. Togekiss can eventually get rid of that Gardevoir. I kind of like it. I'll set up a sub next turn. If I can. Again, it really depends because if we need we need two turns for this Gardevoir to sleep, or we can get a crit here with our Togekiss and kind of just roll from there. The Gardevoir is going to be slumped. I think it's so fast. I, if I had to guess, it might be Choice Scarf. Actually, it's not. Actually, no, it might be. I don't know. But Gleam's going to poke out here. It gets a crit on the. I don't even know. On both of them. On both of them. So that's pretty solid. Breloom's going to come out here. 
so you can get off some nice damage with some Drain Punch, and more importantly, get that HP recovery. So it's going to go back up to full HP with the Drain Punch health, alongside with the Toxio. Actually, maybe not full HP. We'll see. This thing's going to poke Citrus Berry, and at this point, I just got to Gleam and go into a uh, Substitute. So we're going to hope Gradivore's asleep for one more turn. That could be big for us. We go for a Super Fang, he's going to half our HP. That's fine. It's fine. That is fine. Poison Hill coming in here. If I can get this substitute set up, like, if this Gardevoir is asleep one more turn, I feel like we are thriving in this battle. I mean, I could follow me and play it safe, but I'm a risk taker. I'm a risk taker. I'm saying this Gardevoir is night-night, dude. My spores are on point today. My spores keep him asleep. It keeps him asleep. My spores are on point, yo. Show me the two-turn sleep. I need it. I'm a risk taker. Obviously, follow me could have been the safe play. It could have definitely been a safe play. And look at that, yo, the risk is paying off. The risk is paying off here. That's beautiful. Gleam's gonna fly through here. It's gonna take out Gardevoir. It is almost gonna take out Pachirisu. But more importantly, it takes out the Gardevoir. We just need that Gardevoir gone. Now I get this sub set up. You're thriving pretty well. He can't paralyze me either, which is amazing. Which is amazing. We think he's going for another Super Fang? We think he's going for another Super Fang? He's gonna go for the Charm. Onto the Breloom. It doesn't affect it. So that's a huge turn. Breloom is setting up. Reloom is setting up. I love it. I love it. I love it. So now we have Tokus out here. I can legit follow me most of these shots, which I think I'm going to do. And just have Breloom kind of finish off this, uh, these Pokemon. And kind of go from there. We just have the Pelipper, who can rock Hurricanes. Hurricanes are indeed scary. Hurricanes are indeed scary. But from here, I might just put the Pelipper to sleep. <laughs> I might just do it. But I definitely want to Gleam here instead of following me. And then, do I Drain Punch right into this Pelipper? i uh, just drop a seed bomb. I say we seed bomb. Obviously, I could put it to sleep, but I don't want to be that guy who's just putting Pokemon to sleep. Unless I need it. I only really do that, like put Pokemon to sleep left and right, if I need it. Like, if I if it's the only way to win the battle, I'll do it. But if not, I don't like to be that annoying guy just sending sleeps left and right. That's and Gleam's going to fire it. We're going to get rid of Pachirisu. And seed bomb should be able to take out this uh, Pelipper. I mean, the second value. Beatloom getting out here. I love this Beatloom setup. I love Poison Eel. Poison Eel Glide Score and Poison Eel Breloom is just amazing. Sea Bomb's gonna come out here. I think this does take him out, right? Let's go. Let's go. That's GG's. That is now GG's. He has one Pokemon left, and this is a sweep, right? We didn't lose our Raichu. We just full switch out. We just full switch out, but dude, we are sitting so well. So well. Substitute Breloom with Poison Eel is just incredible. And I have a follow me Pokemon next one. He's gonna throw out his final guy. It's gonna be Storm Drink Ashton. That's the game. That is the game. I'm just gonna protect you. Because I want Seed Bomb just to pick up the full KO. Four times super effective grass move. He's probably canceling the battle. He doesn't cancel the battle. And he's probably going for an Ice Beam over to my Tokus anyway. Let's see. Actually, no. We go first anyway. He has a Rindo Berry. He's rocking Rindo Berry, but I still feel like we have a chance of KO. And it's four times super effective. Oh my god. So close. So close. So close. And what's he going into? The Rindo Berry coming in hot. And he is going into that Ice Beam. Which attack. So we just look like a genius there. We just look like a genius there. But back up to full HP. Breloom's thriving. This battle is over. I'm just going to air slash now. And then just go into a seed bomb. But I think our opponent canceled the battle. Right? GG's. Yeah. Battle was canceled. We start off 2-0. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record with the best route, one bird, Star Raptor. We're going up against a pretty cool team. He has Grunbull, who is a fairy type. He has a Storm Drain, Claydolly, and then he's rocking Dragonite, Hypno, Shuckle, who is kind of a pain. It has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, and then Spinda over here. Spinda is such a cool Pokemon. I feel like it is definitely underrated. It doesn't get as much love as it deserves. Like, look at it. It's like just like a cute little teddy bear, kind of. A little, little stuffed animal, kind of looks like. But let's grab ourselves a winning record here. How should I play? I feel like Star Raptor is just a great lead. I really like Star Raptor in, in this situation. So I'm going to lead the Star Raptor. We're going to get rolling with that. We could lead the Raichu for fake out control, or I can just rock straight into Gyarados. Gyarados has a lot of different moves that can do a lot of different damage on a lot of different Pokemon. So I'm really liking Gyarados here as lead. We're going to bring. I bring Togi in the back. Tokus could be solid. I could bring Tokus in the back. I feel like he trans not too bad here either. But I definitely want Tokus here. So I'm going to bring in Tokus. And then. Uh, actually, I don't know. If we don't get rid of that Claydolly, then we have a problem. We have a problem because that it's rock. It can do a lot of work on all my flying Pokemon. But you know what? I'm going to take the risk. I have Gyarados out here turn one. I'm going to roll out with him. And then I'm going to have Breedloom in the back end. I just like Breedloom. So there it is. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's like grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. But Claydolly is going to be the main problem. I'm going to have to get rid of it. Hopefully he kind of leads it. And he does not. But still, Claydolly is definitely the problem. 
But I, I kind of like what we're seeing. We have uh, Intimidate coming out here with uh, Star Rathrak, Me Turn, and Hypno for super effective shot. And Spinda has, what is that, Contrary? Contrary, I believe it does. And then Inner Focus over on that Pokemon. Oh my god, this thing's plus two. We gotta kill it. We gotta kill it right now. We gotta kill it. <laughs> this thing has Contrary. That's it. Close combat coming in hot. I'm taking out Spinda. See you later, Spinda. And I'm gonna D dance on top of this. I'm going to Dragon Dance. I'm gonna dance with the dragons. Fake out's coming. Hey! He fakes me out. You son of a biscuit. Do not take out my Star Raptor. I need my Star Raptor. Spinda's plus two. This thing works contrary, and I did not know that. And I love his little dance it's doing. His little dizzy dance. Look at him. He's just moving around here, having a good old time. He's gonna end up going, oh my. We lost. Just lost, didn't we? This is terrifying. Trick <laughs> comes out. What a play. What a play. I'm gonna go for the close combat. I am gonna go for the waterfall right here. I feel like he does see Gyarados as such a big threat. That kind of hurts. He's gonna end up withdrawing Hypno. And who are you gonna go into here? Don't you dare go into Claydolly. I That would hurt the soul. Okay, Grumble. I can deal with Grumble. Into Dude, this guy's team is stacked. This, this guy's team is incredible. So Intimidate's gonna bring us back to normal on the attack board for Gyarados. He's gonna go into a, a skill swap. Oh, here we go. Please. Please. Swap the abilities. That thing's contrary to. Oh, no. He just gave up. Oh, my God. This is incredible. This is incredible. Gyarados gonna waterfall. Wow, dude. The Intimidate's incredible. Crazy. This guy's plays are insane. They're absurd. Close combat. Can you take out the spinda, please? No, not even close. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love I love this dude's team. Alright, Star Raptor. We might have to hard swap you here. This is crazy. This is crazy. Very move might come out here. This is wild. This is absurd. This is insane. I'm gonna hard swap the Star Raptor. I gotta try to start wasting out these freaking turns. I'm gonna do that, and I might Dragon Dance on top of that. Or I might just protect the others. No, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep going after Spinda, dude. Oh my god, dude, I love this dude's team. This dude's team's incredible. The way that he's playing that is amazing. Like using Pokemon. That's why I love BDSB. He was using Pokemon that I would never expect to do certain things. He was just out there, contrary on my double intimidate, swap skill swap, double intimidate, wild. Can you go for close combat. Tokus, that was a great swap from us. Tokus is going to be able to soak that. His defense is going to drop pretty well. I do think... Oh, nope. It's contrary, isn't it? Defense boost. Oh, my lord. What is going on here? What the heck just happened? Why did Intimidate pop up so many times? I'm so confused. What is going on? What is going on? Bro, this is the coolest thing ever. I kid you not, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Hands down, the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is wild. We do need crits, though. We do need crits. Uh, and here goes Spinda. Spinda's doing his thing. Oh, my lord. You see how many times Intimidate popped up on the screen? It's like, Intimidate. I thought the game glitched out. It's like, Intimidate, 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 Intimidate. But we need some crits from our boy, Tokus, right here. Um, let's go into a gleam here. I'm gonna gleam. I'm gonna double down and spin that. I think I could dragon dance here. Start boost my attack in. Or I could just hard swap. Now we're gonna double down and spin here. I have to get rid of a Pokemon. I can't get swept. But dude, this is crazy. <laughs> this is just insane. So much stuff's going on here. Too much stuff. He's gonna end up with Rollin spin that. Okay, and who are you gonna go roll into? Hypno again? Might be Hypno. Shuckle. Oh, dude, the gimmicky squad's coming hot here. Close combat's fine. We eat that up all day. He's boosting his defense. I, I'm telling you, I need crits. I need crits over here. I need crits. I need a crit from me, Togi. Just so you can ignore that defense. Super Lux scope lens. I think that was a crit. That's some good damage. That's some great damage. Good work, Tokus. Good work, Togi Wogi. Waterfall's gonna poke out here. Probably not do that much damage. I'm gonna have to swap him. Actually, did a decent amount. I might not even have to swap grabbers. I'm just trying to waste out these stricken turns. I'm just trying to waste out these stricken turns. But from here, I'm going to gleam again. And then on top of that, I'm just going to waterfall in the shuffle. Oh my lord, this is wild. This is wild. Really cool, though. Really cool. Let's see what he ends up going into. Guard spray. Oh, dude, this, the gimmicks are, are thriving with the team. I love it. I love it, though. 
Parents guard with targets in a close combat. We should be able to eat that up, right? Cool. His defense is boosted again. Contrary. The contrary close combat is ridiculous. Again, thank God we have tokens for these crits. And hopefully we can get one here. Hopefully we can get one right here. Good. Get the crit. Get the crit. Take him out. We do not get the crit on him. We get the crit on the shuckle, though. Oh, no. We do get the crit. We just don't take him out. All right, so shuckle eats a berry, dude. I was looking to KO him. I was looking to get a KO on it, onto him. Really hurting right now. Garrett's gonna waterfall. Can we still pick up the KO? I don't think we can. We can. Cool. We don't get swept. We don't get swept. And we actually still have a chance of winning this battle. Thanks to Togekiss. Garrett's gonna go down life orb. I kind of dig that. Because I can roll on the Raichu here if I want to. Fake out and gleam. Pick out the Grumble, right? I have to pick out the Grumble. I'm just trying to waste out these trick and turns. Oh, they are gone. Big play. So instead, oh, I don't even have Raichu. Uh, I think I'm just going to Star Raptor here. I think I'm just going to Star Raptor. I think we can win this battle. I think this battle's pretty much ours now. After all of that nonsense, he's gonna bring out Spinda though. No, he brings out Hypno. Okay, cool. He's gonna intimidate. We're, I mean, we're gonna intimidate. We're gonna boost his attack again. Oh my lord. Luckily, we have Pokemon that can kind of eat up these shots. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna Gleam. Try to get rid of that Grumble, and then I'm just going to I'm gonna Brave Bird straight into this Hypno. I can't allow it to set up a Trick Room, so. We're going straight Brave Burden. He's going to protect Rumble. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, we're going after Hypno. And we're not we're trying not to allow him to set a trick room here. Brave Bird can come out here. Watch our Star Raptor do some big old damage. Look at that. Nice damage from Star Raptor. We take a mean chunk of recoil. But hopefully this Gleam can, can get the job done. Go ahead, Gleam. Go ahead, Gleam. Do him dirty here. Show him, show him that crit. Show him that Super Lux Go Punch crit. Oh, come on. I need the crit there. I need the crit there. And now he gets off another trick room. Um, what can we do here? What can we do here? He has spin it in the back end. Uh, obviously, Gleam's gonna have to fly here again. We're gonna try to get rid of this Grumble. But, dude, I love the gimmicks, though. I love the gimmicks. So much going on here in battle number three. Such a good battle. We're gonna Gleam across the board again. I think I'm just gonna Brave Bird. Brave Bird right into this thing. Oh, I have to. I'm choice. I'm choice. He's gonna end up going for close combat. Can you eat that up, Raptor? You cannot. Get dropped out. And this thing's defense is boosted. I need crits. I need crits. If I can get crits, I can pick up a double kill. And I feel like we can actually win this battle because I do have my boy Reloom in the back end to take out that uh, Spinda. He's going to end up going for Disable. Oh, no way. No way. No way. Dude, the gimmicks are thriving. The gimmicks are thriving. I don't have Protect on this Pokemon. This is incredible. I got to give a round of applause to this guy. Big claps. Big claps for this guy. Wow, dude. The plays. I can't even gleam. I can't even gleam, but I'm going to air slash. No, I'm going to air slash into... I should come follow me these shots. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow me. Do I seed bomb on this? I might just put Grumble to sleep, dude. I'm going to seed, I'm gonna seed bomb into Hypno here. The only person that's taking out Grumble is going to be my 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 Togekiss. It's defense is through the roof, and I can't rely on crits for Brave Bird. He's in close combat. We're gonna be able to soak pretty well. This thing is just ripping. He's ripping, dude. He's ripping right now. And what's he going into? A taunt. Okay, so he taunts me that time. That's fine, dude. He just has all the gimmicks going on here, and I love it, dude. Using some really cool Pokemon. They don't get to see too much. C-Bomb's gonna pop through here. I was gonna set up a sub. We end up doing that. Um, I think I just had the air slash, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna air slash in the grumble. Look, look for the crit, the KO. Poison Eel's gonna start poking here. I could try to set up a sub, but I don't want to risk it. We're gonna go there, and I'm just gonna seed bomb right into. Ah, dang, disabled my my moves too, which is hilarious. He's gonna protect you. That's fine. And he's gonna go after probably my breathing right with the close combat. Probably take me out. Oh, he's gonna overheat. Gonna over it. Dude, this thing is ridiculously strong. With the contrary. And look at that. He gets the special attack boost. I, w I would love to see its stats. But that's what's so cool about Sword Shield. You can see its stats. But this thing is just boosted like crazy. And we're gonna take it out here with its crit, right? Crit him up. Oh, we get a crit, but we don't get the KO. It hurts, man. It hurts. It hurts so much. But yo, we don't get swept. Uh, do we have anybody in the back end? We don't. If my disable can run out, we have a shot at win this battle. I'm gonna air slash in the hip now here. 
I'm gonna air slash and hypno here. I don't think this battle is technically over yet because Toad Kiss soaks. I'm gonna protect Rumble. We make the protect read. And what's he going into? He's gonna disable. You fail. You fail. That's huge. That's huge. We get off this air slash. Rickroom should be ending soon. I could protect this fake out and then glean next turn. Yo, we have a shot. Yo, Togi can clutch this. Togi can clutch this. Togi can clutch this. How many turns left in Trick Room? I'm no longer disabled. That's huge. Trick Room is gone. I'm going to bring out Spinda. I'm going to protect the fake out. And then I'm going to wax these Pokemon with this gleam here. I'm winning this battle. I'm winning this battle. Run it. Run it. All your gimmicks. I, I'm taunted. Never mind. I might have lost this battle. <laughs> I forgot I was taunted. I forgot I was taunted. But all these gimmicks aren't going to work. He's going to fake me out. What move are you going for? Might be going for an overheat here. He's going to gleam. We eat. We eat. We eat. And there's a chance. There's a chance. I need crits though. I need crits. Taunts are gone. I need crits. He's going to protect Grumble, I think. I probably should have air slashed into Spinda, but... I'm gonna go straight in that this. Yeah, he protects the grumble. Come on, yo, gleam. Do him dirty. Pick up a KO, gleam. Pick up a KO, gleam. Do it, gleam. Gleam, let's go, gleam. Let's go, gleam. Now we're gonna go for crits with the air slash, and we have a chance of flinching too. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. <laughs> if we somehow win this battle, that'd be incredible. That'd be incredible. Cause this guy just looked like he was doing all the craziest stuff. Well, let's do it. We gotta go in air slash now. Air slash coming in hot. Give me the crit. You got a flinch chance on top of that. Go ahead. Finish him off. GG's. Game over. Oh no. Give me the flinch. We got the flinch. We got the flinch. <laughs> we got the flinch. And we survived another turn. It comes down to if this kills or if it gets a flinch. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, here we go. He's gonna protect. He's going for all this stuff. He's going for his leftovers. Tough news, tough news, tough break. All right, we didn't get a crit last turn, so we need a crit this turn. But I don't think a crit could kill. But we have a flinch chance, though. Flinch and a crit would be lovely, RNG. Air Slash coming hot. Come on, Togi. Do him dirty. Oh, come on, Togi. We're flinching him. He's going to protect him. He's going to... Oh. <laughs> Hate this game. I don't like this game anymore. Stupid grumble. Do not protect. Don't, don't be that guy. Attack me. Attack me. Be a man. You're not a man. You're a child. You are a child. You're a child. He's scared. He's scared. That's what he is. I'm winning this game. Getting a crit flinch here. He's going to protect again, and I'm going to get another crit flinch, and it's going to be GG's. Uh, what a long battle. Love it, though. I love it, though. Like I said, crit flinch. Crit flinch. I don't know. We're 0 for 2 on the, on the air slash crit, so. Come on. Come on, make a move. What are, you, what are you trying to do here? Obviously, pick your move. Go for Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam kills me. Go for the Air Slash. Here it is. Crit Flinch. Crit Flinch. Give me the Flinch. We didn't get the Flinch. That hurts the soul. Let me eat. We do not. What a final battle, though. We end up losing by this much, but got to give a huge round of applause for our opponent using that team and pulling off some crazy gimmicks. That last battle had to have been one of the craziest battles I have ever ever been in for bdsp but it's all good we end up losing that battle but it's pretty cool to get to showcase that in a, in a final battle we went 2-1 for today's video grab ourselves a winning record and we got to showcase star raptor who is actually one of the stronger pokemon in bdsp like i said i was definitely surprised that i haven't used it in the past so i'm really glad i was able to pull this out and uh grab ourselves a winning record for today's video but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out Make sure you spread the positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.